Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. If you are watching this video, you want to get an honest review on PDF Element application that will change the way you edit your PDF documents because it will enhance your productivity and will make your workflow seamless. I will concentrate on AI functions because it's the thing which is changing the way we are living and makes everything work smarter and not harder. Stay tuned, but before we're moving on, check out the description box to download a PDF element and see how it works and you will make sure that it's something that you need it. And of course, click the subscribe button if you still didn't do it to get updated on new videos. Let's Let's go through the features that PDF Element has. You can edit your documents, edit a PDF, organize pages, crop PDF, prepare a form, you can convert to different formats. You can create a PDF document, for example, from templates. You can batch uh, your documents and, for example, batch compress or batch create, so on and so forth, so all the documents together and it gives you a perfect and beautiful result. AI tools, this is something that we're going to be talking about today. Summarize PDF, proofread PDF, translate PDF, and PDF AI written detect checks if the document was or was not generated by AI. You can protect a PDF, you can prepare it for uh, printing, for example, you can add comments, and of course, you can sign it. It's beautiful. Let's start with the first one, uh, summarize PDF. Let's click on that and I choose uh, a document and let's wait for the summary. As you can see, I have uploaded the document that has multiple pages, five pages. And right here, I'm having, I'm having a short uh, overview of the document. So this is refugee traumatic stress and recovery processes, clinical considerations. And right here, you can see, uh, the the summary so for example refugee trauma is categorized into three phases pre-migration trauma which includes exposure to violence and deprivation so on and so forth and various psychological treatments including trauma focused therapies are being adapted to meet the unique needs of refugee populations this is the ending that's why i wrote uh, i read you something in the beginning and something in the very end because the summary needs to be kind of like a form of a complete text with the logic and idea and as i have checked it it has the beginning the introduction and it has the summary uh, of what the document is made for uh, you can also start some more you can also ask other questions uh, from the AI. What are the three phases of refugee trauma? How do post-migration stressors affect refugees' mental health? What role does cultural identity play in refugee treatment? Uh, all right here, uh, for example, uh, in what, uh, let's see, uh, I'm having here the text, given that most of the world's refugee population live in low and middle income countries with developing mental health, let's ask, in what uh, countries, trees, uh, do mo do the most would do the most of the world's world's uh, refugee refugee uh, population population live. Let's see the answer. And here's the exact answer. Most of the world's refugee populations live in low and middle income countries. See, it works and it works perfectly. And right here, we're having a more functions um, uh, from the AI. AI chat with multiple PDFs, for example, AI summarize that we already did, AI translate, I will show it a bit later, AI grammar check, generate markdown and A I read and detect. Let's check grammar of a specific paragraph. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this part. Yeah, and it's gonna take some time to uh, proofread it. 
And right here, I'm having uh, something that was changed, the final version. So, reasons for change. Death of loved ones should be changed to the death of, uh, of loved ones. The article is missing. There is an unnecessary 15 at the end that should be removed, as you can see, that's reference. But right here, it was an extract. It was just a paragraph with no other context. context. I love it. It's super, super uh, concise and exact. Wonderful. Let's move on with other features. What I want to do next is uh, AI translate, PDF translator. Uh, let's choose the language, for example, target language, German, page range and translate. And uh, yeah, let's do it. And right now I'm having a translated document. It's in German. And uh, as the person who understands German and can speak German, I can also proofread it and see uh, the, uh, the points that were listed in the original document. Uh, Verschiebungsbedingtes Trauma, Postmigrationsstressoren, Prämigrationstrauma, uh, klinische Überlegungen bei der Unterstützung von Flucht, uh, Fluchtlingen uh, und so weiter. Psychotherapie. Everything is exactly as it was here. For example, psychotherapy, psychological treatment, uh, clinical considerations, post-migration stressors, so on and so forth. It works and works beautifully. And right now we're switching to the final moment when I want to check if this document was AI written. Let's see. And I'm having the result. The detection has been completed. The file is written by humans. Uh, sentences highlighted by the, uh, by the yellow are more likely to be written by AI. But the rest, as you can see, is human written, which is amazing. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this tool will be such a change in the way how you added your PDFs because I personally use it on my Mac and I'm super satisfied. Please find the link to try it out below this video, download it and start using that. Thank you for watching. I will be back with a new portion of interesting stuff. Bye bye and have a good day.